Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and that is a 63 Lincoln convertible. She is beautiful and you're gonna love checking it out. So go to our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. We're gonna get this Lincoln up on the lift so you can see just how nice the bottom side is. We're gonna pop the hood, see what's making the power. We're gonna put the top up and down. We're gonna go out and cruise it. We're gonna show you everything you need to see so you can make a great decision on your Lincoln investment. So come on up, we'll fire it up for you right now. Look at this beautiful car, man. Look at the chrome up here. Look at all the trim, the grill, everything looking sharp and beautiful. That Continental Emblem, man, does that look sharp. And look at the black paint. You want to talk smooth? It is smooth as glass. It's straight as an arrow. That hood's fitting great. All the trim here on the top of the uh, front fender's looking sharp on top of the doors. And then this cool. Look at that, guys. Isn't that awesome? Look how clean this car is. I've been doing this for a long time. Even when I was a kid, my dad's buddy had one of these. And I don't even think his was that nice, and that was 40 years ago. This thing is amazing. Look at that dash. All the paintwork, all the vinyl. Everything on the car is amazing. Look at the trim around the um, back side of the uh, seat right here. Looking beautiful. Look at all this trim. Everything, even the Continental Emblem, looking great. Now when we get outside and uh, drive it, we're going to get the top up and down on video so we can show you. All the carpeting looks great there. Door jam looks great. Doors operate nice and smooth. Check the website at vanguardmotorsales.com. We've got pictures of the uh, back all opened up. Bottom side of the deck lead looks good. Back side of the top looks good. All the chrome back here, all the trim back here, everything looking beautiful. And look down the side of this baby. She is the Queen Mary and she is straight as can be. Look at those reflections. It looks like somebody laid a big black mirror on the side of this car. It is beautiful. Now here at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're not consignment dealers. Oh, and I know you guys saw this, gangster white walls too. So we're not consignment dealers, that means we own this Lincoln. Right now we have about 220 cars in stock and we own every one of those cars. So you can bet we check them out before we buy them. When they get here to our shop, we inspect them further so we can answer all your questions when you call Tom at Let's take this Lincoln for a ride. 
Top Goes Down, Big, Long, and Black, 1963. It don't get any better than this, guys. It's a beautiful day to be out in the sunshine in a 63 Lincoln. I tell you what, this car is one year younger than me, and it is way better looking than me. This thing is amazing. It has been restored to top shape. Man, she is sweet. You do not ever see cars this nice. As a matter of fact, when I was a kid, one of my dad's buddies had one of these. Back then, it wasn't as nice as this one is today. I'm telling you, these things are few and far between for sure. The car is amazing. Now, at Vanguard Motor Sales, we can ship this Lincoln anywhere in the world. You give us a call at 248-974-9513. Tom will tell you just how easy it is to ship this dream to your driveway, no matter where you live in the world. The car is phenomenal. As you can see, the dash, everything on the dash appears to be working. Uh, the clock is going round and round. I wouldn't count on it to actually keep time. I don't know what this guy in the pickup truck's doing. He's probably wanting me to pass so he can take a look at this beauty. The Speedo's working. Even the horn's working, guys. Now, it's got an aftermarket uh, radio in it here, which looks real smart. I mean, it looks like it belongs there. It does have the stock radio. It's have this uh, aftermarket um, cup holder put in it, too. All the chrome in here looks good. All the finishes look great. Just an amazing car, guys. 63 Lincoln top go down. The car is phenomenal. Like I said, you just don't find them this nice ever. I've been doing this full time as a job for almost 10 years now. And of course, I've been doing it as a hobby for over 35 years. I've never seen a car this beautiful as this 63 Lincoln. Man, she is beautiful. Now, if you'd like to come in and check us out, we'd love to have you. We'd love to take you for a ride in this baby. Uh, we're only 20 minutes from the airport here in Detroit, so it's a real quick ride from the airport. As a matter of fact, we'll send somebody down to the airport and even pick you up if you need a ride. If you'd like to drive in on the weekend, we're here on Saturdays till three o'clock. We're always, always wanting to show you our inventory. We bring in about 45 new cars every month, so we've always got something new coming in. Now, we're gonna do something nobody else in the industry does, especially to a car like this. We're gonna get it up on the lift so you can check out the underside. We're gonna pop the hood. We're gonna take a look at the power under the hood. We're gonna show you everything you wanna see so you can make a great decision on your Lincoln investment. So stick with us. We'll get it up on the lift for you right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the underside of our 1963 Continental. Unfortunately, Greg is out of the shop for the moment, so I'm gonna finish this video uh, with you guys. So starting from the back forward, you can see that it does have, uh, it looks to be the original gas tank in it. It looks like it even maintains all of its original um, insulator pads and all that sort of stuff. So I don't believe it's ever actually even been out of here. It even looks like it's got the original clamps on it as well. Moving forward to that, you can see we do have an aftermarket um, fuel pump over here and you're gonna see why that is in just a second. We're gonna get more and more clues as to what's been done to the fuel system and why as we move forward. Uh, right here is our Ford 9 inch or 9 and 3 8 axle. I'm not certain exactly which one it is. The tag is missing and I can't tell them by uh, just by looking at them, but uh, either or depending on the year. And I know that the rear and center section has been switched out. It is not uh, year correct for the car. And I believe they did that because this is actually a 373 gear ratio. Probably they uh, upgraded the gear ratio in this thing, tried to get something a little bit sportier. And uh, on either end of this axle, you can see we do have Willwood disc brakes back here. These are power. You're gonna see that in just a second. Um, something else I'd like to point out, you only get this on the luxury cars where you have the rubber insulator pads on your leaf springs. Looks like the whip hose has been changed. Looks like it does have air shocks in the back. Flowmaster mufflers tucked up over here uh, like where the, uh, the cat back of the exhaust is. So that's there. Uh, we do have sporty mufflers on it. Coming forward from that, looks like the floor pans look to be the original floor pans for the car. It looks like it maintains all, if not most, of its um, factory sound deadening and uh, undercoat, which is really nice. 
Uh, we continue to have this push lock uh, style uh, fuel line over here. Now the exhaust has been wrapped from this point forward, probably just to keep heat down. We do have our uh, old style CV joint here. Moving forward of that, we do have a uh, Ford, a Ford Lincoln turbo drive, if I'm not mistaken, transmission here. It's basically a Ford automatic transmission, three speed, and it is, uh, of course, the larger one that they put in the, um, the MEL forwarded uh, Lincolns and Mercuries, and they did that so that they actually designed this transmission so that it could handle the torque that that engine will actually produce. So, um, and I do believe it's the right one for the car. Uh, the casting uh, number actually comes up as a C3 casting number, 1963 only. Um, there's a pretty high probability this is the correct one for the car, and as you guys do uh, know, or uh, as you, if you don't know as you do now, the um, VIN codes was not uh, a mandatory thing until 1966, 1967. I think it was actually 1967, excuse me. So um, it is date code correct for the car. I'm gonna have to call that probably right. Now up here is our the underside of our uh, Lincoln MEL, um, or yeah, Lincoln Mercury MEL. So we do have um, 430 cubic inches here. And uh, there's a casting date up here on the side of the block here, December uh, of, December 1st, excuse me, of 1962, which means this will probably uh, be right in the ballpark to be correct for this car as well. So also good stuff there. Front end looks like it's all intact. They did uh, do something else up here with the braking system, just as they did in the back. They kept it balanced and put uh, some big cross drilled and slotted rotors up here, along with some aftermarket disc brakes as well. So all, all good stuff. Looks like the uh, pretty nice adapter bracket here that they've got going here. Um, upper control arms look to be factory along with the lower control arms and all the original type suspension that would be on this. A really cool thing that they did with these engines that I'd really like to point out here and that to me is just fascinating. The, this is actually the power steering pump that actually is underneath this thing here and it's uh, driven off of the, uh, the crankshaft pulley here, so which is very, it actually is the crankshaft pulley, which I find to be very, very cool. Uh, coming forward to that, this uh, big old cross member here looks like it's in excellent shape. Uh, and overall, the car, metal-wise, looks like it's in beautiful shape. I mean, you often don't see them this nice, and it's very, very original, very, very honest under here. So you see what you see is what you get. Let's go take a look at wheels and tires. All right, guys, for rolling stock, we do have what I think would be the best wheel and tire choice for this car. Very tasteful. You do have the um, the stock uh, center cap. I guess it really it's the whole the whole hub cap here. But this here is a separate piece from the uh, beauty ring here. And the size on this is 245-70R17. So these are a little bit larger wheels on this thing. And of course, that may have been to fit the, uh, the disc brakes there in the back because they are quite a bit larger than uh, you typically uh, see on these old cars. So that all being said, let's go take a look at the rear. Okay. Uh, so for back here, we do have 245-70R17s, the same as the front, which means these tires are fully rotatable. Uh, once again, you've got a beautiful looking center cap and a beauty ring here, but it covers the whole tire. It looks like a full hub cap. Um, it even has like the Lincoln um, little uh, topper there for your air fill. Um, as you can see, no, no uh, curb rash or anything like that going on. The trim look, looks like it's in excellent shape. I don't feel any pitting whatsoever. This is always the point where you get up on here and you actually feel what you're really getting at when you're uh, looking at these old cars. The drop downs feel like they're in excellent shape as well. Looks like it has all the factory strength ribbing in it. Still all good stuff to see. Like I said, a good, honest old car. What you see is what you get with this one. Let's go take a look at the MEL under the hood. Okay, guys, here it is, the uh, MEL 430. Now, as you heard me mention underneath, I do believe it to be the right engine for the car based on the casting date. Um, something else I'd like to point out is, uh, you heard me kept mentioning underneath there that the fuel system's been modified, and you're about ready to see why that is. If I uh, take just this little center cap out of here, you're gonna see that this is not a Holley four barrel or a Motocraft four barrel, Autolite four barrel. This has, that is actually the throat of a uh, MSD fuel injection setup that this car has, which explains why you need the extra PSI. And for those savvy people underneath there that was taking a look at the exhaust system, you know that there was no tube bung in it. I didn't want to point it out until I got up here because I didn't want to give away the surprise. So um, that's what we've got going on there. They've also uh, made the addition of uh, electric fans up here up front. So that was also a, a little more of a modern amenity that they've given us. Something else they've given us is, um, looks like it's a little more modern style power brakes uh, to go along with the modern power brake additions that we have underneath. The car does have AC on it. Optima battery over here with the kill. Now this is an MSD distributor over here, which is very interesting that we found one for an M -A, excuse me, MEL motor. Uh, looks to be a uh, more modern style of the 6AL uh, box over here. So you do have uh, more than likely a rev limiter on this thing. 
Um, once again, we got our relays for the fans over here. Everything looks like it's actually um, insulated from heat very well, which is also a good thing. I like to see that the guy took his time to do all that sort of stuff. And outside of that, they kept it pretty tasteful. I mean, you can see that it has the, the beautiful valve covers that say Lincoln on them all on the old school script. It says Continental right there on the air cleaner. And uh, for the most part, it's pretty much the way it would be with the exception of the few tasteful additions that they've added. And you can also see that the underside of the hood has the factory um, sound deadening on it, all that sort of stuff. So once again, when it has been modified, it has been done so tastefully. And uh, overall, pretty nice build of the car. The interior is sweet. It's got the look. I mean, it's, it's just, I like it. I dig this one. And I typically don't dig this stuff, but this one has my seal of approval. So that all being said, if you'd like to have the, this uh, old Lincoln parked in your driveway, make sure to call Tom with the number below and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this big old Lincoln in your driveway, if it'll fit.